Hello, welcome to Lemon's Cheers, where we talk anything and everything in entertainment. I'm, of course, the Lemon himself, Zeke Lemon, and I'm here to give you my thoughts on the latest episode of Peacemaker, The Chode Less Traveled. <laughs> what a title, right? So this is how this works. We get the good bits of Lemmy and the bad bits of Limey. Now, at the end of the episode, I can tell you whether the episode made me feel like a Lemmy or a Limey. Makes sense? Right. Because Lemmy's positive and Limey's negative. So without further ado, let's make it do what it do. The cold open kicks off with them in the car, and they're talking about... The show does this good job of like a pendulum where it's like really, really funny and then it gets really, really serious and then it gets really, really funny. Like it, 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 it smooths its way through the funniness and the seriousness. Like it's just so smooth with it. Like it's just not out of time. Oh yeah, there's a joke. And like, oh no, now I'm all serious all of a sudden. Like it really, it really takes its time with it. It just goes back and forth with it very, very smoothly. So we start off funny <laughs> and they're talking about how, you know, they're just having this conversation about the pinky toe. Like how, oh, well, if you lose the pinky toe, you won't be able to walk and all this stuff. And that's another thing I really like about this show, too. It's just, like, how natural the conversations are. Like, this is a natural conversation that would happen in real life. Like, not just, you know, with, between, you know, mercenaries, but, like, just people at work and all this stuff. Like, you're trying to work on something, then someone makes this thought, like, something random happens. And like, oh, man, I could have smushed my pinky toe and I won't be able to walk anymore. Like... There would have been like a three minute conversation about like, no, you wouldn't lose, you, you wouldn't be able to talk anymore if it wasn't for your pinky toe and all this stuff. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. And then, you know, we get kick off into that awesome intro <laughs> that just never caught. So until, you know, further notice, the intro will always get to Lemmy and the code open also get a Lemmy. So all, already two zero Lemmy. And then, you know, we have a conversations throughout the base camp about, you know, hey, Peacemaker's your head really in the game. He's like, no, I just really need a double piece, bro. And all this stuff. And then um, the two ladies having a conversation like, well, I never killed anyone before and all this stuff. And that was fine for what it is. <clears throat> and then they get in the car and the gym, like, she's just being so passive. I was like, hey, bro, thanks for not, you know, helping me out. Like, he's just so mad, but he's trying to put it in such a nice way. <laughs> he's just so bad. Vigilante has slowly become like one of my favorite characters in this whole entire show, besides Peacemaker himself. And John's like, I think you're actually mad about it. And Vigilante's like, no, 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 I'm not. Again, just a very, very nice, genuine conversation throughout. Peacemaker goes and gets a bunch more uh, helmets, and then we have another spill about ducks and costumes, and human costumes and all that. And again, like, just, again, very, very natural. I feel like humans were actually having conversations like this if this was coming up. It doesn't have to be just two, between two mercenaries. Like This is an actual conversation that I feel like that would happen. <laughs> uh, so th that gets a Lemmy as well. And then, starting to get a little fuzzy here. Then we cut back to the car again, right? Yeah, we get in the car again, and he's on his way to go see his dad in prison because he found out that his dad's in prison because he calls, cause he calls uh, the head guy and says, Hey! What the fuck? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, there's my one F-bomb. Can't say that anymore. About so why is my dad in jail and stuff. So he goes to go see his dad. And then, um, what's her name? Amanda Waller's daughter goes, you know, to try to sort it out. But it's too late. He goes and sees him. They have a conversation. Jesus Christ. It's just really gut punching. And it's like a real throwaway line at first. But then it turns out it's not about like how your brother was always my favorite one that the, that the dad says to him. And then he goes back to jail. And like, yeah, I'm going to rat you out. I'm going to rat you out. And there's another conversation with that too that one didn't feel as 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 normal like this felt very serious i don't feel like peacemaker would have been making that kind of conversation with it um so we got to put a line me there somewhere because no show's perfect right so that that, that could be the line that could be the line me although I, I love this episode overall so spoiler alert i feel like a line me <laughs> um and then you know he gets out then they go and like try to fight and then he gets his rematch and then amanda waller's daughter finally gets the kill shot he's <laughs> just so, like I had that one. Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's just like the smugness and just the confidence of, yeah, no, they just got this power. You know, he's going to get like move a kidney up. It's going to become his heart. It's so great. <laughs> and then, you know, some other stuff happens, but let's get to the ending. What it's really all about. That the head guy that's trying to kill all the butterflies is actually a butterfly himself and just makes me want to watch it more. I'm telling you what, I haven't been this excited to watch a new episode of a show since WandaVision. Uh, I just look forward to it. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna do the stay up late. Like I've been doing it with Book of Boba Fett, but I think I'm actually gonna start to stay up late for this one and just wait till after work to watch because I just had the show on my mind all day today and I cannot wait to watch it. And I'm so glad 
I got away with no spoilers, and then I got to finally watch it. I was just so so yes, I, I felt like a lemmy. I love this show. I haven't been this excited for a show since WandaVision. Uh, what did y'all think about uh, episode four of Peacemaker? Comment below, let me know. Uh, and if you like me, subscribe. And if you like this video, like the video as well to help me grow as I try to become more of a YouTuber every day. That will do it for me, guys. And I'll see you out here next time at Lemon Studios.